it's over to the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'll let you decide who's who. Okay, so lockpick of death, what is that? This one's actually an airbag myth. Scenario is a guy's breaking into a car using one of those flat lockpicks, triggers the side airbag. The airbag explodes, launching the lockpick through his skull. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> It's another story from that font of urban legend, the famous Mythbusters fan site. A would-be car thief is using a lockpick to break into a car. While poking around inside the door, he unwittingly triggers the side airbag, which expands with such force, the lockpick becomes a missile, and the thief suddenly finds himself picking his own brain. Get ready for a Mythbuster tale full of exploding airbags, Skullduggery. As long as they're legal, we're happy. And, uh, uh, udon noodles? Well, that looks a little like brain, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I think we should learn, first of all, how to pick a car lock. Do either of you know how to do that already? No. Well, short of getting a criminal, I think maybe we should see if a fireman can help us out, because I know that you have to pick locks to get into cars. The guys are going on a fact-finding mission. We need to learn how to use a lock pick, and we hear you can teach us. Well, we do have some cars over here, and we do have some tools. Let's see if we can actually get in. Excellent. Let's do All it. Right. Cool. At the Livermore Pleasanton Fire Department's training facility, firemen do take lock picking lessons. And while we're not allowed to show you how it's done, the Mythbusters take careful note of the technique. All right, Matt, you want to give it a shot? Sure. So you are leaning directly over the lock pick as you're trying to get in the car. It's worth noting, too, that these guys don't practice this on vehicles with side airbags, just in case. I mean, if you were leaning over that tool and the airbag went off, I could see how that thing would launch up into your neck. This demonstration shows that a person using a lockpick would be in the correct position to be impaled. He's almost got it. Hey! Yeah, outstanding. Nice. Excellent. But would an airbag really go off with a big enough bang to send that tool through your skull? We have a driver's airbag out of a small vehicle, and I put a traffic cone on it so we can see it a little bit better going up in the air, and we're going to launch it. Do not try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> the airbag's rigged for remote ignition. Everybody ready? Hey, we're ready. ready. All right. Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> Run! <laughs> good, good shot! The leading edge of this bag is coming at you about 500 miles an hour. It's deploying in about a quarter of a millisecond, and then it deflates almost immediately. These are the airbags that come out of the steering wheel. Now, what are the difference between these and the side ones that come out of the door? The side airbags would be deploying about four times faster than these are. Now that we gotta see. Three. Two, one. Whoa, oh, yes! That cone's out of the park. Well, that was a wow. good one. That's fantastic. Whoa, oh, yes! You got any more of those? Oh, I wish. That was cool. Uh. How cool was that? I mean, those airbags must have shot the cones like 50 feet in the air. Well, yeah, that's because technically they are explosives, which is ironic because they're meant to save your life, but they go off right in your face. But what happens is sensors on the car detect the crash, they ignite the airbag, which inflates a nylon fabric bag full of gas in a split second. One thing's for sure, these firefighters have failed to hose down speculation about this myth. These things are powerful. I mean, I could see how this whole thing might work. All right, let's get going. I can get some lock picks on the way home. When a cowboy's hat takes a bullet in Hollywood, it takes flight like a startled bird. Does the science stack up, or are those hats flying in the face of physics? Our own Butch and Sundance aim to find out. Are you ready? As we know, the Mythbusters always feel right at home on the range. 